Hi everyone, this is uh, Pablo. Uh, today's video I'm going to cover or demo device onboarding via plug and play on Cisco DNA Center. Before anything uh, gets done, there's a number of uh, configurations that uh, need to be in DNA Center in advance. Uh, so starting from design, your network settings and network or site hierarchy. Uh, so when I go to DNA Center, I would have already configured this uh, in advance. So if I go to network hierarchy in there, uh, I have created my, my hierarchy as well as my network settings. So including all AAA set servers or DHCP, DNS, so on and so forth. I also added uh, device credentials that DNA Center will use to log in and configure those devices. Next thing, so profiles mapped to a site. So this is for any configuration that will be pushed onto the device uh, will be assigned to a network uh, profile. So first thing, create the template. So I had created a couple of uh, onboarding templates. So these are regular CLI templates, with VLANs, interfaces, so on and so forth, uh, uh, with no, no variables uh, in there, just static configuration. Next is assign those templates to a network profile. So I had created a, a switching profile, which is uh, this one here. And if I edit that, I can then see those two templates assigned under the onboarding template uh, tab. Lastly, just make sure that they are assigned to a site or a set of sites where those devices are going to be uh, assigned to. Okay. Then next thing is our software image uh, management. Uh, so as part of the plug and play workflow, DNA Center will compare the image installed on the box with the image that is marked as golden in here. And if it's not the same, it will be then proceed with upgrading the, the device uh, first. So I had downloaded from software.cisco.com 17.6.3 and imported in here in DNA Center. Uh, as part of the import, uh, once it's import, you have to assign it to a set of devices, to a device or a set of uh, devices. So in this case, I would have uh, searched for 9300 and assigned that to uh, at a global level for the 9300. So any any switch, any 9300 coming into the network hierarchy can use that uh, that um, that image. Then I go to the 9300 switches and I have a couple of uh, images in there uh, and I had tagged the 1763 as the golden uh, image in there. Okay. Lastly, then is our device mapped to a site. So part of the plug and play workflow will assign that device to the site and push all that in configuration that we had uh, set. So from a planning perspective, we need to check uh, or what we need to decide whether to use DHCP option 43 or DNS. In this demo, we'll use the DHCP option 43. And then we move on to claim uh, that device. So selecting the software image, CLI templates, and adding to the inventory. And as the last step, then uh, any provisioning, extra provisioning, such as uh, network settings, such as uh, AAA, DNS, DHCP, so on and so forth. Bit of the workflow of how plug and play works. So there's a DHCP server. Uh, that DHCP server will include an option 43 with the IP address of DNA Center embedded in there. Our switch in this case will uh, get that IP, uh, get that IP assigned, uh, look at the option 43, and start communicating with the plug and play server. In this case, uh, DNA Center. DNA Center will then uh, provision the configuration that we had set. Bit of the diagram. Uh, this is this lab is going to be part of a larger uh, software-defined access lab. So the terminologies I'm using here are pertaining to to, to those uh, functions within DNA Center. So a fusion device uh, here. It's uh, I'm using a 3850 uh, switch, and we're going to plug and play these two devices in here, which I am calling border one and border uh, two. So these two devices are in an out-of-the-box state with no configuration on them uh, whatsoever. So let's look at the CLI for now. So from a Fusion perspective, I have interface uh, VLAN 1, which is where plug and play runs uh, by default. 
shut down at the moment. And my DHCP pool with the option 43 with DNA center's uh, IP address. From borders perspective, I probably let's uh, let me just clear this out uh, for a second, uh, just to get them refresh and, and also to to show you a command where you can set any of these uh, switches uh, to factory default. Uh, ready for, for problem play. So the command will be pmp service reset. Uh, do I yes on that? And we'll do the same on the other uh, device. So one of them would be border one, and the other one would be border uh, two. So that will erase. Everything on that device, uh, VLAN that that uh, running config, uh, start startup, and any crypto uh, configurations, and they will uh, reload. While we wait for that, we will then go to DNA Center and go to our plug and play. Or actually, let, let's check our inventory. There's no devices in there, and if we go to our plug and play, then there's no devices uh, either here scheduled for plug and play. Let's add devices. We can add a single device, for example, this is a manual entry. But let's use the bulk device uh, upload. So if you download that file template, uh, it looks uh, something like this, uh, where it has some pre-populated data in there, but you can get rid of it and put whatever you need, uh, just for illustration pro purposes. So serial number, product ID, device name, and the site that uh, it's going to be deployed in. So that's what we're concerned with uh, in this demo. I had already created a, the file with the information that we need. Uh, so serial number, product ID, uh, device name, and then the site that we're going to assign those to. So to choose a file, and select my file, upload, and import. Okay, so it's picking up all, all that information from the template and we're going to go with add and claim. So all that information is already there. And as I mentioned, then assigning configuration, then it's going to check against the golden image, which we, which we had tagged 1763. And I'm going to assign a template to, to those. So border one for this one and border two for the other one. Next, uh, this step, if uh, some of those templates would have any variables uh, assigned to them, uh, they will show up in here for you to enter them uh, manually. We can do a preview of uh, the configs uh, of what's going to go into that device, like uh, device details, image, template CLI preview, template that we've seen earlier, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's uh, claim those. We're showing on claim, but in a second that should change to plan. So plan. That means the DNA center is waiting for these two devices to start communicating. Uh, so so DNA center can then deploy all that uh, information. For now, it hasn't seen them, so it's at zero percent. Let's go back to our CLI. So these devices are uh, still rebooting, uh, but I'll start my interface VLAN one. I'll you no know, shut down. Wait until that comes up. And this device ideally should then get an IP address uh, once it starts uh, the PMP agent uh, kicks off. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a, a, a couple of minutes to until that comes back. I'm going to pause and unpause when that happens. Okay, so I see uh, I waited roughly about a minute until the plug and play agent uh, started. So I can see then it's uh, it got a DHC, uh, an IP address, same for border two. So 227 on this one and 228 on that one. And we see the plug and play uh, has uh, started. If I go back to DNA center, see that's moved on to 10% and 30% on, on this case. So I can click on one of those, uh, for example, to see what's the history. Uh, what's uh, been happening. So device added to the, the site, uh, claim device, authenticated, 
uh, I see some overriding of the image, but I think uh, that will kick off uh, uh, subsequently. Uh, we'll have to wait for, for a few seconds until, until the image uh, starts uh, getting pushed. I'll post a video until we wait for, for that to happen and, and come back in a, in a few minutes. Okay, so I refresh that. Uh, I can see the file transfer task uh, has started for the image. And currently our progress is sitting at uh, 70%. Uh, so this will take this process for the upgrade will take roughly 15 minutes. So I'll be pausing and unpausing the video uh, as we go along. I'm going to pause now. Okay, so I'm unpausing the video. So that file transfer, so executing uh, the golden image download task. So that has taken a, a few minutes in there. So looking at the CLI, uh, so we can see there it's uh, running the, the upgrade process at the moment. We can see that it started the install of that uh, particular image. After that, uh, after it pushed the image, uh, it, it then reloaded the, the, the device. It's for, for an image uh, install. So right now it's uh, updating the microcode on the iOS XE. So we can see both of them are running. So we'll give it a few more minutes uh, until that's uh, finished and see what's the, the next step. I'm going to pause the video right now and then we'll come back. Okay, so I can see there the so quarter two has uh, completed. We'll look at what happened to quarter one uh, so far. So if we look at the history, <clears throat> We see that the golden image uh, has completed and it's done a number of other things like a configuration task, backup provision device, and device added to inventory and added to the site that we had specified. For one, this uh, seems to be still at the golden image download uh, task. We'll see what's going on there. So, border two, so we had completed the, the upgrade. And it had rebooted uh, that device. It has gone through the enabling all of those uh, interfaces. And at the end, if we then, we can see that it's taking the, the prompt, the name. So if we do uh, show, show interface brief, we can see where I have uh, some of the interfaces that I would have uh, configured via the uh, template. Loopback Zero will be my management uh, interface, so that's the first thing I would do on DNA Center uh, side of things. So if I go to my inventory, order two will be there. And I'm going to change that management uh, interface uh, IP. So that IP address that it's uh, right now is the one that has been assigned the uh, DHCP on VLAN 1, so I don't want to manage that device uh, on that IP address, so I'm just going to change that for the loopback interface. So as soon as I change that, then I can see DNA Center uh, logging in the device to, to then uh, do the inventory uh, uh, synchronization. If we go back to plug and play, so still our border one uh, seems to be stuck in there. And I think I know what the issue is. So that border one has uh, also upgraded, uh, upgrade complete. And VLAN one has come up. I could see it there. Somehow it was not receiving uh, an IP address uh, over the HTTP. I was having a bit of issues with my DHCP server on this switch. I'm not sure if it's uh, uh, something wrong with this uh, particular switch, uh, but I think uh, the DHCP server is not working uh, as expected. Um, it may be as well. Maybe as well the, the least time down to 10 minutes, so I may have uh, to opt that to maybe 20 minutes to see if we can 
um, preserve that IP address while the device is uh, coming back. Um, let's try to do an, a shutdown and no shot on that. That VLAN one on the border one, see if we manage to get an IP address. And we put an IP address DHCP, see if we can manage to get one. It doesn't seem like. So we're not getting uh, an IP address. Let's try to do it manually then. Uh, so IP address this. Uh, we will. I will put a, a, an IP route there. IP route. Which is the port VLAN one for for the fusion. So two to five. And let's see if we can ping the DNA center. Does it seem like uh, it's like it? Or actually, actually it, it got the, the pings in there. So let's see if uh, DNA Center manages to, yeah, uh, authenticate success. So we actually, uh, so we had lost the uh, connectivity uh, through this device. Um, I have to check what's uh, wrong with that DHCP uh, server on the Fusion uh, device. Uh, but we, we we restored the connectivity there back to DNA Center, so let's uh, let uh, allow DNA Center to finish up uh, the configuration on on that device. Okay, so that should take a, a minute or two to complete. I'll pause the video and come back once that's uh, completed. Actually, that didn't take long. So if I go to border one, history. So the provision that device added to inventory and again added to that particular site. Okay, going back to my to that switch. So the prompt changed from switch to border one. So meaning that uh, my template has been provisioned uh, correctly. So if I do again, I show IP interface brief. I'm interested in getting the loopback zero IP address to update that in the inventory. So that device has been added in here. Edit device, management IP, put the new IP address. And we can see then a DNA center logging into that device. There's an ISIS uh, neighbor uh, adjacency there via interface uh, 11, 1011, and that's uh, going back to border 2. So it's uh, the redundant link uh, in between the two devices in there. Okay, so our two devices are in imagery, and we have managed to uh, onboard these devices via plug and play, upgrade the software image to the golden image and apply a configuration template uh, onto them for initial uh, connectivity into the network. So hopefully this video was uh, helpful. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to myself. Thank you.